Amy Lynn Bradley was born on May 12, 1974 in Petersburg, Virginia, in the U.S. She gained prominence due to the mysterious circumstance surrounding her disappearance while on a Caribbean cruise in 1998. Bradley was a bright and ambitious young woman. She attended Longwood College, now Longwood University, in Virginia, where she studied physical education. Amy was known for her athleticism and adventurous spirit, qualities that would later play a significant role in her life. In March 1998, Amy embarked on a family cruise aboard the Royal Caribbean International Ship, Rhapsody of the Seas. The cruise departed from San Juan, Puerto Rico and was scheduled to visit several Caribbean islands. However, tragedy struck on March 24, 1998, when Amy vanished from the ship under mysterious circumstances while it was docked in Curacao. The circumstances surrounding Amy's disappearance remain unclear and have sparked numerous theories and speculations. Some witnesses reported seeing her on the ship's dance floor in the early hours of the morning before she vanished. There were reports of her sightings in various locations throughout the Caribbean over the years, but none have been conclusively verified. Amy's disappearance has received widespread media coverage and her family has been relentless in their efforts to find her. They have appeared on the numerous television programs, launched websites, and worked closely with authorities to investigate leads and raise awareness about her case. Despite extensive efforts by law enforcement agencies, Amy Lynn Bradley remains missing to this day, and her disappearance continues to haunt her family and captivate the public's attention. The case remains open, and her family continues to advocate for answers and justice. Amy Lynn Bradley's disappearance remains one of the most perplexing and haunting unsolved mysteries in recent decades. Here is just a brief summary of some of the details in the description of the events surrounding her vanishing. On March 21, 1998, Amy Lynn Bradley, 23-year-olds at the time from Pittsburgh, Virginia, embarked on a week-long Caribbean cruise with her parents and younger brother aboard the Royal Caribbean International Ship Rhapsody of the Sea. The cruise departed San Juan, Puerto Rico and was scheduled to visit various ports of call in the Caribbean. The days leading up to Amy's disappearance were reported to be uneventful. She was described as enjoying the cruise and spending time with her family. However, in the early hours of March 24, 1998, Amy vanished without a trace while the ship was docked on the port of Orangestra, Aruba. The circumstances surrounding Amy's disappearance are shrouded in mystery. The last confirmed sighting was of her around 5.30 a.m. by her father, Ron Badley, who saw her asleep on the cabin of the balcony. When he woke again approximately at 6 a.m., Amy was nowhere to be found. Her disappearance was discovered when her family realized she was missing during the morning hours. Despite immediate searches of the ship and surrounding areas, there was no sign of Amy. The crew initiated a thorough search, including checking the ship's CCTV footage and interviewing passengers and crew members. However, these efforts yielded 
no substantial leads. Several witnesses came forward claiming to have seen Amy after her disappearance. Some reported sightings of a woman resembling Amy in various locations throughout the Caribbean, including Caraco and Barbados. However, none of these sightings were definitively confirmed and Amy's whereabouts remain unknown. The circumstances of Amy's disappearance have led to various theories, including abduction, human trafficking, and unfortunately, foul play. One theory suggests that Amy may have fallen aboard accidentally or even deliberately, although her family strongly rejects this possibility. Despite extensive investigations by law enforcement agency, including the FBI, Amy Lynn Bradley remains missing to this day. Her family has tirelessly advocated for her, maintaining a website, appearing on television programs, and offering a substantial reward for her information leading to her whereabouts. The disappearance of Amy Lynn Bradley continues to captivate the public's attention and has prompted renewed interest in recent years. As her family continues to search for answers and of course justice in the case. The disappearance of Amy Lynn Bradley has sparked numerous theories and suspicions leading to speculations about potential suspects. While no individual has been definitely identified as responsible for her disappearance, several individuals have been the subject of scrutiny and investigation by law enforcement and amateur sleuths alike. It's important to note that these individuals are considered suspects based on circumstantial evidence and speculation rather than conclusive evidence of their involvement. Here is a brief list of some of the individuals who have been considered as suspects in the case. Given that Amy disappeared from a cruise ship while it was docked in Oranjanstad, Aruba, some suspicion has followed on crew members who may have had access to areas of the ship where Amy was last seen. Other passengers also have been considered suspects on the cruise and potential people of interest. However, identifying specific passengers has been proven challenging due to the transient nature of cruise passengers and the lack of concrete evidence linking any individual to Amy's disappearance. Also, there have been reports of sightings of Amy in various locations throughout the Caribbean after her disappearance. Some speculate that she may have been abducted by individuals involved in human trafficking or other criminal activities. However, these claims have not been substantiated by law enforcement agencies. Suspicions have been raised about individuals living in the area where Amy was reported to have been sighted after her disappearance. However, without concrete evidence linking any specific individuals to Amy's case, these suspicions remain speculative at best. Some theories suggest that Amy may have been targeted by a criminal organization operating in the Caribbean region. These organizations could include human traffickers, drug cartels, or other criminal enterprises. However, there is no direct evidence implicating any specific group or individuals in Amy's disappearance. It's also possible that Amy may have encountered an 
opportunistic predator while on the cruise or after disembarking in Aruba. Such individuals would have taken advantage of her vulnerable situation leading to her disappearance. Finally, investigators have also explored the possibility that someone known to Amy, such as an acquaintance or fellow passenger, may have been involved in her disappearance. However, there is no concrete evidence pointed to any specific individual at this time. It's important to approach these suspects with caution and recognize that speculation alone is not sufficient to establish guilt. The investigation into Amy Lynn Bradley's disappearance remains ongoing and law enforcement continues to explore all possible leads and avenues of inquiry in the hopes of bringing closure to her family and loved ones. The disappearance of Amy Lynn Bradley has involved multiple law enforcement agencies and organizations, both in the United States and internationally. While the primary investigation falls under the jurisdiction of the agency responsible for the location where she was last seen, coordination and cooperation among various agencies have been essential in the search for Amy. Here's a brief but comprehensive list of all the agents and agencies involved in the investigation. The FBI As Amy Lynn's disappearance involved a U.S. citizen on a cruise ship traveling internationally, the FBI has been heavily involved in the investigation. The FBI has jurisdiction over cases involving U.S. citizens abroad and has worked closely with other agencies to gather information and coordinate efforts. Royal Caribbean International The cruise line in which Amy disappeared, Rhapsody of the Seas, has cooperated with law enforcement agencies and provided assistance in the investigation. They have shared information including passengers' manifests, CCTV footage, and crew member interviews to aid in the search for Amy. Aruban Law Enforcement Agents and Agencies Since Amy was last seen in Orange Gestad, Aruba, local law enforcement authorities have been involved in the investigation. This includes Aruba Police Force, which has conducted searches, interviews, and other investigative activities in collaboration with U.S. authorities. The International Criminal Police Organization, otherwise known as Interpol, Interpol facilities, international cooperation among law enforcement agencies, and ha has been involved in sharing information and coordinating efforts in relation to Amy's disappearance. They have assisted in disseminating information about Amy and modern international developments in the case. The U.S. Department of State The U.S. Department of State provides consular assistance to U.S. citizens abroad and has been involved in providing support to Amy's family, facilitating communication with foreign authorities, and advocating for the investigation. Non-governmental organizations, NOGs various NOGs dedicated to missing person cases concerning human trafficking, prevention, and victims support have been also involved in raising awareness about Amy's disappearance, providing support to her family, and advocating for justice.
various media organizations have also played a role in raising awareness about Amy's case, disseminated information to the public, and generating tips and leads for investigators. Television programs, documentaries, and news articles have kept Amy's story in the spotlight over the years. Private investigators. Amy's family has also employed private investigators to assist in the search for Amy and to pursue leads and information that not only have been co covered by official law enforcement but also added to the coverage. These are just some of the key agents and agencies involved in the investigation into the disappearance of Amy Lynn Bradley. Cooperation and collaboration among these entities have been essential in the ongoing efforts to uncover the truth about the disappearance of Amy and what happened to her and bring closure, of course, to her family and loved ones. The disappearance of Amy Lynn Bradley has been marked by lack of concrete evidence, making it challenging for investigators to solve the case. However, several pieces of evidence and potential clues have emerged over the years. Here's a comprehensive list of just some of the evidence involved in the disappearance of Amy Lynn Bradley. Amy was, of course, last seen on March 24, 1998, aboard the Royal Caribbean International cruise ship Rhapsody of the Seas. She was reportedly seen by her father on the cabin balcony at around 5.30 a.m. before her disappearance. Also, there have been numerous reports sightings of individuals resembling Amy in various locations throughout the Caribbean following her disappearance. These sightings have included locations such as Coracio, Barbados, and other islands. However, none of these sightings have been definitively confirmed as Amy. The cruise ship Rhapsody of the Seas was a clip, equipped sorry, with Closed circuit television CCTV cameras, but it's unclear as to whether any of the footage ex that exists of Amy around the time of her disappearance. Investigators have examined the CCTV footage from the ship for any potential clues. Amy's personal belongings, including her shoes, and cigarettes were found in her cabin after her disappearance. The presence of these items has led to speculation about the circumstances surrounding her disappearance. Witnesses abroad the cruise ship reported seeing Amy in the early morning hours of March 24, 1988, before her disappearance. Some witnesses reported seeing her on the ship's dance floor, while others reported seeing her with an unidentified man. Forensic analysis as well of her, her cabin belongings have conducted an effort to uncover potential evidence or clues. However, details about specific forensic findings have not been publicly disclosed. Amy's family also maintained a website and social media presence dedicated to raising awareness about her case and soliciting tips and information from the public. Online activities related to Amy's case has been monitored for potential leads. Sketches 
of individuals seen with Amy or resembling her in various sightings have been created based on eyewitness testimonies and descriptions. These sketches have been circulated in an effort to identify potential suspects or persons of, of interest. Amy's family and friends also have provided testimony and information to investigators about her personality, behavior, and relationships leading to her disappearance. This information has helped investigators build a profile of Amy and her activities. Finally, investigators have examined Amy's cell phone records around the time of her disappearance to determine if there are any calls or communication that could provide clues about her whereabouts or activities. Despite these pieces of evidence and investigative efforts, Amy Lynn Bradley's disappearance remains unsolved to this day, and whereabouts of her remain unknown. The lack of conclusive evidence has made it challenging for investigators to determine what has happened to Amy on that fateful morning in 1998.